Hello everybody and welcome back to Fiend Folio. Let's jump in again. It's deleted streak time. Let's go. I don't know why, but I'm really hyped today. I'm hype. I'm hype. Let's get it done. Let's get that bread. Let's see if we can get a win with the next version of this little fella, which is Maurice. Morris. Start with a D14, a six room charge pocket item, which corrupts one room only. Okay. This is pretty simple, this one. We don't need to do a lot with this. Uh, basically, we only corrupt bad items. That's pretty much the way that this character goes. A little less crazy than we've seen recently, but still just as fun. Do not fret. Uh, like this item, for example. I'm just going to take it and see what happens. <laughs> that was maybe a devastatingly terrible idea. Um, we will see. Also, it didn't use my charge, which I'm... Do I have debug 8 on? No? What the hell? But anyways, we got a lot of wrath. Um, which I don't think having multiple does anything. Oh god. This is not good. Things have already been balked. But wrath is good. Basically, whenever we hit a tier... Um, oh, there, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I was left with a broken heart, but wrath is gone now. <laughs> I had it for one room. And now it's gone. <laughs> I don't know where it went. But yeah, don't take corrupted items that you don't know what they do, kids. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. But we've done it now. It has been done. And it will always be done. Oh, fuck me. I'm going to die. If I die, it doesn't really matter. Because, yeah, th this run could... I could get, like, Damocles just fall instantly on my head. Or, like... Monstro's tooth just activate in a random room and kill me or I don't know mum's foot drops down and shovels me There's all sorts of messed up crap that could happen based on what's happened here another enigma heart Wow, let's go back and get that red heart up there real quick so that I don't perish Anyways, I've just conducted an interview like literally About five minutes before I started this video. I conducted an interview which is the first one that I've ever really done It was it was interesting like, it was good, it went well, but I, I didn't think I'd be conducting interviews at the age of 25 to someone that might have been older than me, <laughs> which is weird. Stop lobbing your shitty spiders on me, I don't want them. I don't want them. And you with your triple fire ghosties as well. Um, But yeah, it was, it was interesting. Um, So, in terms of question of the day, have you ever been interviewed for anything and how did it go and if you've been interviewed multiple times what was your worst my my worst interview experience was pretty pretty stupid so i've only really gone for um two three interviews oh okay that's pretty useful upon killing an enemy we have the chance to use fortune cookie i think maybe i think that's what happened i'm not exactly sure if that's what happened but it seems like that's what happened that wasn't really a good use of a bomb there but it's happened now Oh, you big, big bastard. But yeah, anyways, I've only really been for like three interviews in my entire life. Um, I've been pretty pretty blessed with the jobs that I've gotten. Um, the, the very first one was the, definitely the worst. So my other two jobs, the ones that went successfully, I'll kind of talk about first. So one of them was at a place called Heron Foods, which is like a UK-based little supermarket for very cheap food. Um, I, um, I got an interview there, but... The boss knew that my mum was friends with, um... I'm gonna do it again. I'm doing it again. Huzzah. We don't know what these items did. They could kill me instantly, or they could create chaos. We never know. Um, we'll go down here. Either way, I love it. <laughs> but, oh wait, one, one thing I need to check as well. One thing I need to check. Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, tin no, not Tainted Treasures. Shit. Um, Repentance Plus. Unlocks. All of these are unlocked. Good. I was just checking them because it was an update to the mod. Um, but yeah, uh, so I, I kind of got the job based on that. I, at, at least, th my boss did say that he didn't hire me based on that, but you never really know. My mum knew, like, one of the CEOs sort of thing, so I don't know. That might have got me the job. I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure. I, I'm willing to say that it, it, it did. But anyway, so that one went pretty successfully because, um... I don't know though, he just liked me, and I stayed there for like a year and a bit. It was just a, a manual labor shop job. Being a till bitch, bringing, bringing people up, doing that sort of stuff. It's very boring work. 
and for some reason, for some godforsaken reason, they made you stand while you're on the till for eight hours a day. You spend eight hours just stood there. Like, why can't I sit down? It makes no difference whether I sit or stand, apart from I don't destroy my spine. Uh, but apparently you had to stand. It looks less professional if you sit down. I'm like, eh, does it bollocks? <laughs> don't lie to me, sir. No one, no, not one customer has come into a Heron Foods, basically one of the cheapest supermarkets going. Essentially, you go there if you can't afford normal shopping. No offense to the clientele, but that is literally what it is for. Um, and no one, no one of, 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 of that situation is coming in and going, oh my god, the cashier is sitting. I can't shop here anymore. They're not professional. No, no. I could, I could come in to that job wearing my pajamas and not a single one of the customers would care. Not a single one of them would care. In fact, many of the people that shopped there came in their pajamas. It was a very local shop, so um, a lot of the same people came in quite a lot. And there was three or four particular people that used to just come in in their dressing gowns. Uh, anyways, that job was fine. The other job interview I went for is, is technically the job that I'm in now, but not really. Should we gamble? See if I die. Okay, we gambled well. We gambled well. Um. Ooh, cursed eye. I will come back to you with a with a, a swift D14. Um. Or D minus 14, as someone told me that it actually is. Dude, every time I get a soul heart, some some long necked bitch steals it from me. Every single time. Goddamn giraffe looking little chip. I gotta be careful with these guys, because they shoot me at the moment that they die. Um, my other interviews, essentially for the job that I'm in now, um, and that that went really well. <laughs> I basically walked in and he was like, you're hired. I was like, okay. <laughs> I really didn't have to do or say much, and he was very enthusiastic about me working there, so that was nice. Um, boop. Boop. Doot, 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 doot. Um, I'm not really sure where uh, where the thingy room is. Da, 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 da. I think it's got to be over here. Um. Hmm. Maybe here? Yes. I was really unsure where it could be there, but I'm like, there's not many places it can be, so... I took my time. I did my due diligence. But yeah, so that interview went fine, but my first interview, not so hot. Not so hot. And we got more of the void. I will definitely take that in a motherfucking heartbeat. More of the Void is an absolutely stonking good item. I, that, them angels are fast. Wow, I was not expecting that. Holy, right, we've got our D-14 charged. Let's go and corrupt some things. Um, but yeah, I went for a job at um, New Look, I think it was. I think it was New Look, which is a clothing place. Oh, it shows me both of them, nice. Okay, um, on item, get a tiny bit of speed. Every nine rooms, we get that. Uh, get a bunch of little ghosties every kill. Each boss 1% chance to minus 6 damage. Okay, we have to take this one. We only get a tiny bit of speed per uh, item. But, um, we also get something every 9 rooms, the wavy item. And I, I quite like that item, so... Oh, it's Kakamancer. Kakamancer is a hard boss, so... Let's be prepared. Yep. In fact, he's such a hard boss that I might well die to this guy. He is very tricky. Oh, balls. Yep. Okay, Patched Heart. Yeah, we died to him. Kakomancer, why you like this? He just dives so ferociously at you. It's okay, though. We got him. Oh, did we? Okay, no, we did get him. Good. <laughs> he took a bit of doing, and the revive was necessary, but we got there in the end. We also got this. Uh, spawns three random key pickups. Three of spades. Give me a feels like I'm walking on sunshine. 
Balls of steel, okay. I can take one of the keys now. Right, let's go to our shop real quick. But yeah, the first interview that I went to, oh boy, that was tragic. So I went to uh interview for a place that like I said, I think it was I think it was New Look, um which is like a clothing outlet place. And I didn't really want to work there. It was just that I didn't have a job and I needed one. It was the first place I applied to. I got the interview, I went, and two things I did not know about the job going into it. One I did not know it was an informal interview, so I came wearing very smart clothing, and I did not I did not look correct. Two, I did not realise it was a group interview, and there were six other people there, and I didn't realise there would be six other people there. So not only was I surrounded by a bunch of people that, that I didn't know, and were going for the job also, but also, um, they were all, um, they were all, like, dressed normally, and I was dressed up all smart, and I looked stupid. Uh, so that wasn't great. <laughs> that was a, a pretty bad start to the uh, to the interview. But also, because I didn't really want or care about the job, I didn't really do a great job of answering the questions. Um, but also, the questions were stupid. In my opinion, they were dumb. So the job, the actual duties of the job, would be you take clothes out of the back room and you restock the shelves when people buy the clothes. Like, that's simple as. I'll take that, actually. I do need some fire rate. Um, simple as. You restock the shelves. That is essentially the extent of the role. You don't really do much more than that. But the people that were conducting the interview seemed to think that you'd be some sort of guru, helping everyone decide what to wear and how to style themselves and all this sort of crap. I've literally never, ever, in any single clothing shop, ever been approached by one of the sales assistants and be been told how to dress or what I should wear. Ever. And I don't think anyone has, unless you're in a really upmarket place. Definitely not New Look. Um, and they seem to think that that was the case. And there were, like, the questions and, like, the tasks and things were just, like, how would you assist a customer with this and that? And, oh, my God. So one of the things we had to do... Is there was a clothing rack next to us and we had to pick an item off of it and then we had to describe how we would sell it to a customer which like I said is something that will literally never ever practically happen in this role ever you are stacking shelves that's all you do um and so I picked up a pair of jeans because I wear jeans and I thought eh whatever jeans there you go each boss kill 1% chance to spawn 10 grab bags um yeah we'll go for that why not um, we get Guppy's soul. I'll take Guppy's soul. Why not? Good to go. Right. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I picked up a pair of jeans because I wear jeans, and I thought, what? Whatever. I. I. I don't know how to sell these to someone, but whatever. And then instead of instead of just going. How would you sell this to a customer? They went round the room and gave everyone like a scenario in 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 like how they'd sell it and it'd be like, oh, this is a this is a going out shirt, but you can clearly tell they're a single mother. How how exactly would you go about selling it to them? And stuff stuff like that. Like someone that's not gonna be going out much, this is a going out shirt. So basically, how are you gonna sell shit to people that don't need that shit? Which I'm like, um, should we be selling shit to people that don't need it? Doesn't seem like a great idea. Um, but anyways, we carried on, and most people got pretty normal questions. Pretty average questions. There were, there were stuff similar to the one that I just mentioned, or, or something along those lines. Although, also, we're gonna have a lot of snakes by the end of this. It's gonna be- oh, I love the helix pattern they're creating right now. Um, yeah, uh, it was mostly that sort of stuff. And, um, it came to my turn. And mine... The question I was asked, which I apparently answered wrong, was someone has come in to, uh, someone is looking at these pair of jeans, but they don't fit them. How would you sell this pair of jeans to them? And my answer was, I'd refer them to the other sizes of this je of these jeans. We have them in other sizes. I would refer them to where the other sizes are, which if, if we're being logical here, I think is an exactly perfect answer or reasonable answer. If they want to buy those jeans and they're holding a pair of them that do not fit them, 
refer them to a pair that does fit them. And they're like, then the interviewer said, no, 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 no. Sell them this exact pair of jeans. And I said, the jeans that don't fit them. And they're like, yes. Like, why? Why would you want me to sell a pair of jeans to someone that don't fit them? Why would you want me to do that? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was like, why would you want me to do this? This sounds this sounds bad. This does not sound like a thing I should do to someone. Um, and I was just like, I was like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I would do because personally, I wouldn't try and sell them them because they don't fit them. And I don't think, like, I, I, I wouldn't want a sales assistant to force me to buy a pair of jeans that don't fit me. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't want that. And they were like, yeah, yeah, just sell them. I was like, what do you mean just sell them? I'm not going to I, I just, I was like so baffled by the whole experience. Why on earth am I selling something to someone that doesn't fit them? And why do you want me to sell it? And then, and then the, that's not even the worst of it. So after that, after that, they go around the table to a few other people. And I kind of thought mine was the harshest slash stupidest question of the lot. I didn't think there'd be much, much more stupid than mine. But. Right, the next one, this woman had picked up a pair of socks with sloths on them. Cute little socks with like these cute little cartoon sloths on them. And the interviewer says, okay, how would you sell this to someone that has a fear of sloths? For one, who the fuck has a fear of sloths? Like, for, like, what? <laughs> there might be some people out there, but come on now, a fear of sloths? And two, stop trying to sell things to people that they don't want. <laughs> what? Oh, just sell this to this person. This person is deathly afraid of the image on these socks. Try to sell it to them. No, you can't. They're not going to buy them. <laughs> Offer them a different pair of socks, please. <laughs> it's just, oh, it was just, and then, and then after that, we had to do a one-on-one -on -one interview. Um, where they asked a bunch of questions. And one of the questions was, how do you keep up with today's fashion? And I'm like, I just, all I could think of saying is, can you see what I'm dressed in right now? I came in like a suit. I don't know fashion. I came to this job because I wanted to stack shelves for money. Why do I need to be an expert in fashion to stack shelves for money? It doesn't matter whether it's food. It doesn't matter whether it's clothes. The job is stacking shelves for money and for minimum wage at that. It just, just, I thought it was incredibly bizarre. Incredibly bizarre, but yeah, I, I just said Reddit. I'm like, I don't know, Reddit. <laughs> I'm very glad I didn't get the job though, because it was, it was quite far away and it seemed like it would have been crap. <laughs> so it was a good interview experience, but I'm very glad I didn't get the job. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Group interviews. Ain't my shtick. There's some, there's some jobs where group interviews make sense. Because obviously, like, you're working as part of a team. But people like to say in customer service in retail jobs, Oh, we're all part of a team. No, you're not. Everyone's there thinking about themselves and just waiting until that clock hits five. And they don't give a single damn about anyone else at that job or any part of that job. It just, ah, uh, just delusional. Typeset. We can, we can roll on typeset. Instead of dying once, um, okay. And then what we got here? I think we'll just take this for now. Beautiful. Once a flaw, random enemy will be erased. Ooh, is that worth the, the loss of stats? I suppose I only get the stats when there's a curse. Let's let's try this out. <laughs> Don't cry, I've spilt milk. 
I'm liking these technology tiers here. Check this out, why not? Sorry, I had to sneeze really badly then. Came out of nowhere. Right. Away we go. Away we go. But yeah, the interview that I just conducted was pretty good, actually. The person was pretty pretty fit for the role. And they seemed really enthusiastic about it. They seemed to know their stuff. It was good. It was good. I liked it. And then we got Lost Soul, or Your Soul, even. Oh, more of the Void. You are just the best. We have become a laser ring within a laser ring. Blank card. Could be interesting. We'll buy it and see what we can make work with it. Blank card doesn't drop a card on use. Okay, I thought it did. I thought it dropped a card and you picked it up. That's only, I guess that's only clear rune. Good, good. Come on, my snaky friends. Let's do this thing. Boss time. Up, 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 but uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of high energy today. I don't really know why. I'm just ready for anything. Ready for a good old classic deleted run, as God intended. Oh, do you know what? I'll tell you something that was amazing. Yesterday, I watched, um, I don't know if anyone's seen Nathan Fielder, um, do, what, what the hell's it called now, actually? I can't remember the original show. Nathan For You. Goddamn, Nathan For You is so good. But, yesterday I watched his new show, The Rehearsal. It's amazing. It's so, so bizarre. I highly recommend it to anyone that wants to watch anything very weird. Because it is very weird. Actually, that's a random soul stone effect. Soul. So all of fiend PJs probably should have actually defaulted that because the uh, PJs didn't really do much for us. We were already near near to max HP. Did them dudes get um get erased? I think they did. Yeah, basically, ooh, now we can get actual technology as well. I think yes, please. Really? That actually hit me. Here's a green one again. I don't want the green one. I want the red one. That's a red heart. Give me the red key. Also, he's not paid out with anything yet. There's the red key. Pay out with this, please. Yes! I want actual technology to go with my technology. Although, I don't even know if it'll work with these tiers. But I'm curious to find out. Go, my snake army. I don't think having multiple snakes really does much for us. Because I think we can only apply poison. I don't think they deal any contact damage or anything. So I think it's just a very, very high chance to keep them poisoned. Well, that's about it. Whoa, away he goes. Go damn. Right. Lawn darts. Um, luck affected chance to fire hemorrhaging. Nah, I'm going to think he all that. On item use... Use this book twice, every seven rooms. Uh, give it a go, why not? Oh, it also spawned two items. Mum's perfume. Oh. Ooh, 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 what have we... What have we done here? What have we done here? You've certainly done something. <clears throat> It's spawning a lot of mum-based items. Is 
There's a lot of dad based items as well. I don't know what's going on here. We've spawned many a mum's pad. <laughs> God damn, this is getting kind of crazy. I kind of got an idea though. Kind of got an idea. <clears throat> We've got Mum's knife here a few times as well if you we want multiple Mum's knives. I guess I'll give him a go. Why not? Still spawning more and more items. God damn. Pretty much all of my actives at this point. I'll burn spares in there randomly. Dead tooth in there. Soul of Eden! Go! Huzzah! Birthright. Upon pickup, um, upon pickup a corrupted item, a 40% chance to get an identical one, otherwise spawn a friendly worm. Why not? Picking up all the items I want here is not going to be easy. Okay. <clears throat> this room has become fairly crazy. We're getting there though. We're guppy now as well. I'm not going to take Compound Fracture because I feel... Actually, will it even do anything? I don't think... I'm just going to take it. It might, it might not even do anything. I want a little heretic over here. <laughs> okay. There's 2020 up there as well. Why not? Lodestone down there. Did we already grab Lodestone? Maybe we didn't. Kidney Stone here. My goodness. <clears throat> right, Jacob's Ladder. I want that. First hat, I want that. Holy Mantle, I want that. C-section, I'd like that. The apple, I'd like that. Dry baby, I want you. Money equals power, I'd like that too. I'd like that too. This is getting crazy. Um. No, I don't want that. I want money equals power. I also want sinus infection up here as well. And Gideon's Gears, why not? And this one. Didn't want that. Continuum, yes. Toxic Shock, why not? This one too. Oh my god, this is getting unmanageable. Fettered Hearts, I'll have that too. There's so many items I want. 
Oh god, I think I'm stuck. That area has become very hostile. I want the axe. I just want the axe. There we go, we got it. Okay. Can we leave now? I think we can leave now. Oh, God. Okay, we're out, we're out, we're out. Get out of here. Holy. Okay. We got just a few items. We're good to go. Ooh. Oh, my Lord. Okay, um... We are in very much game... Oh, Lord. Um, I think Kidney Stone was a bad idea. Just one second. Um, Kidney Stone's going to break the game if we keep it. Because it's just keeping... It's just constantly firing, and it's going to cause so much lag. We don't want to fire that much. Oh, Lord. I'll take that with me, I think. What the heck? Holy... Oh no! It started again! It started again! I can't stop picking things up, it's too... Tempting. All too tempting. Right, leave it there. Leave it there. God damn. God damn. Oh, God. It might also be Jacob's Ladder. Uh, remove... Right. Oh, God. And the parasite. We've got many things that are breaking everything here. I don't think we're going to get away from the lag, I'll be honest. I think it's here to stay. I'm trying my best, but the game do not like it. It's weird how picking up like 150 items just breaks the game, isn't it? Strange. You never thought it'd happen. Even after everything stopped firing, it still struggles. I love these things, they're so cool. Okay, tap firing seems to be the safest way to go for now. Gotta be very careful. Oh god. I shouldn't take more. 
but I want more. It's also tempting. Two pairs of glasses next to each other, that's kind of weird. I gotta get out of here, man. <laughs> oh, we should have taken tool at least. Also, didn't I have toxic shock at one point? I don't know what items I have and what I don't have. I'll be honest. I have no earthly idea. I love the music when you get one of these effigy rooms. I made it to the boss pretty quick. Quite a lot of effigy rooms as well. Holy. Uh, do we even still have C section? I can't tell. I think we do, because there's little, you can see like little baby knives dancing around everywhere, look. Where does Infestation 2 come from? <laughs> I really don't know. Right. Beeline to the boss. I love breaking things this much. It's fun. The deleted is quite a laugh. <laughs> Denial, it's the game. I don't even need to use C section at this point. Oh, the music on this floor bangs. I say it every time, but it's because it's true. Every time. I think the C section babies are just invisible. I think they are there. What's up with things say it's turning photo negative? Hey Isaac. I don't know what's happening. Don't ask me. I don't know. Tears going everywhere. Little brimstone there for you. I don't know where that came from either. Okay. Oh. We apparently didn't actually get the Polaroid. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was something bizarre. And I'll see you guys in the next one.